Okay, either we're meeting a cherished friend again after a long period of time, or this is the high school AU. Okay, it's the cherished friend one. Ah yes, of course, the most well-known of abuser tactics. Expositing on the lifetime of abuse you have inflicted on a certain person. Alright, and that's all we get. So, we are asking, how is everyone? And we're getting through this quick. We get a bamboo sword. What's Marth getting? Alright, he got Luke's sword. You got Defense Resistance. And Taurus got a Skill Potion. Oh! Yumina's also getting us something. What are you getting, Yumina? Glass Lance, okay. So, real quick. I uh, got something important to do. I uh, gotta go to the convoy and uh, just sell this real quick. Alright, so that's that order of business. I know I don't normally show shopping, but I feel that was fairly important to do on screen. And it doesn't look like we have any sort of conversations to do before the battle, so I guess we're getting right to it. Yeah, what a coincidence. I wonder if the same person is going to be leading this. Jagan, I don't like you anymore. You're no longer my friend. You're just so pessimistic all the time. So, we've got a small battlefield. This one might look familiar if you've played Fire Emblem Heroes because, well, one of the maps is based on this one. It is, of course, the last story map of uh, the Echoes of Mystery chapter. Nope, we're not leaving off on that. Okay, so, uh, this is a fairly simple battle. Uh, you won't actually get attacked immediately if you don't rush this group. Uh, I believe, uh, if you're standing, uh, within one space of the, or, uh, yeah, like, if you're standing where Ryan is, they won't attack you, but if you pass that direction, they will rush you the next turn. So, we're going to do our best to ensure that, uh, these guys don't get a second turn. Which, I know I didn't use Fina that much in this playthrough, but she is honestly one of the best characters to have for this chapter for multiple reasons. First and foremost, we really want to remove these axe fighters. I mean, the archers we want out of the way as well, but like, it's pretty important to get these guys out of the way because we don't want extra characters attacking us. I mean, to be fair, the archers are going to attack us anyway, but whatever. Though that being said, I did actually manage to get rid of these guys first turn. And... okay, thank goodness. Not that it would have mattered if Marth got hit, because it's not like these guys have longbows or anything, but still. A tomahawk hitting me would have been a little bit embarrassing. 
Alright, so I did give Cecil another turn, but actually everyone else cleared the battlefield, so there's no need. Uh, I'm going to unequip Iris because I don't want her attacking Katarina. Because we can attempt to talk to Katarina, but the conversation is short. And unfortunately, in addition, it does nothing. So we're going to end this turn. While Katarina does have no Sferatu, uh, obviously I'd be attacking her second first and foremost. Uh, second off, why did you go after Ryan? I'm surprised he didn't crit you straight to hell, but still, why did you attack the dude who would attack you? God. Uh, my guess is they're just prioritizing the characters with the lower evasion rates. They probably couldn't have hit Iris's reliably. They did do damage to Linde, and theoretically they do damage to Ryan. Not much, and it's not worth it, but still. So if we talk to Katarina a second time, Unfortunately, uh, this conversation is even shorter, which is why we have Fina here. Because we can talk to Katarina a third time. I hate to interrupt this moment, but there's no better place to put the character introduction. It's been a long time coming, but we've finally recruited Katarina. Unfortunately, she does boast the same low magic growth rate that basically any other mage in this game has, being at 40%. That being said, with a starting base stat of 12 magic, if you got really unlucky with the other mages, it's not a bad place to start. And thanks to the fact that magic is generally very potent against most opponents in this game, it's still pretty good, though 
if it doesn't get much growth, it's still a disappointment. That being said though, she's got some really good stats. Her HP is fantastic for a mage. She also has some pretty high skill speed and luck. Of course, her skill and luck aren't quite as high as Linde's, but they're not so far below that it's a significant drop. And even better, she actually has some pretty good potential to be a somewhat tanky character. A 9 in defense and a 7 in resistance is pretty good as far as starting defensive stats go. 40% growth rate for resistance isn't bad, and it's generally where most mage type characters land when they're more resistant. 20% is also better than most mages, though. To be fair, overall, Etzel's definitely a better tank. Uh, he's got the same resistance, better defense, and both his starting stats are better in that regard, and he only starts one level lower than Katarina. Of course, she also starts with more HP than he does, and she has the same growth rate, so chances are, her HP is just going to be better than his is. She also starts with a B in Tomes and a C in Staves, which gives her pretty good access to either category. She can be a good damage dealer, and she can be a good healer. She's very multi-purpose like that, and overall her growth rates are pretty similar. I do kind of wish Katarina specialized a little more instead of being more jack-of-all-trades, but as far as jack-of-all-trades go, she pulls it off pretty well. Alright, so with only one Swordmaster left, it's time we put an end to this chapter. But not with this Iron Sword. I I'd just prefer to kill this guy. Oh no, Katarina, no, we just had an emotional moment. Don't go behind Iris' back to try and get executed. First off, do you even know Prince Marth? Second off, this is just depressing. Uh, also, as much as I love Katarina, um, if you're anything like me, you're probably going to get really tired of the words sin and atonement real quick because they overuse the hell out of them for anything involving Katarina at this point onwards. Which, to be fair, isn't that much. It, it's mostly just, um... Actually, she doesn't even do it in supports that much. Just mostly story stuff, which is to say, another guide in chapter. <laughs> 